Hello Mathematicians, welcome to part 4 video on the irreducibility of polynomials. In the first part, we saw irreducibility of polynomials over R. In the second part, we saw the relation between the roots and the irreducible polynomials. In particular, we proved that if a polynomial has a degree 2 or 3, uh, then it is irreducible if and only if it has no root. Okay. Then in the third video, we saw the rational root test. Uh, rational root test can be used to check whether a polynomial is irreducible over or not. Or not. Okay. In this video, we see two important tests. One is Eisenstein criterion. Another is uh, uh, mod p reducibility test. Both of them are very important to check whether a polynomial is irreducible or not okay okay let me state the Eisenstein criterion let f of x be a polynomial with integer coefficients okay in CSR exam if you look at the previous year questions you can see many problems in which the polynomial with integer coefficients are given and you ask to check whether the polynomial is irreducible or not okay then for such problems, Eisenstein criterion could be very easy to use, uh, especially if the polynomial has a larger degree. If it is a degree 2 or 3, then it is better to check whether it has a root or not. Okay. If it is higher degree 4, 5 and so on, then better to use Eisenstein criterion or mod p reducibility test, which we go into see next. Okay, let's continue. f of x be a polynomial with integer coefficient. Suppose there exists a prime P such that the following conditions are satisfied. What are the conditions? The prime P divides AI for 0 less than or equal to I less than or equal to N minus 1. What does it mean? You just leave the leading coefficient. Except the leading coefficients, all these coefficients are divisible by P. Okay. So, first condition is P divides the constant term, P divides A1, etc, etc. P divides A subscript N minus 1. Okay, that is the first condition. Then we come to the second condition. P does not divide the leading coefficient. Okay, so P does not divide An. Now, we come to the third condition. P square does not divide the constant term. Okay, P square doesn't divide An. Okay, if such a P exists, then that polynomial has to be irreducible over Q. Okay, so whatever criterion or result we saw reducing irreducibility, none of them we gave a proof. Okay, all these proofs can be seen in uh, topics in algebra, I and Hestine. Uh, so the proofs are very simple and uh, please have a look at the proof also. Proof of Eisenstein criterion, proof of rational root test and everything. Okay, now let's apply this uh, criterion to some of the polynomials given in the CSIR problem to check whether it is irreducible or not. Okay, let's continue. So, first consider the polynomial x power n minus p. Then this polynomial is irreducible over q for whatever n you take doesn't matter. So, what is the polynomial in our hand x power n minus p. So, to apply Eisenstein criterion, what is the prime we should take? Obviously, we should take this prime p. Okay. If you take this prime p, then clearly this prime p divides all the coefficients of uh, constant term. Coefficient of x is 0, p divides 0. Up to coefficient of x power n minus 1, all the coefficients are 0. Therefore, p divides ai for 0 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n minus 1. That condition is satisfied. And the leading coefficient is 1. Clearly, a prime cannot divide 1. Therefore, P does not divide An, also satisfied. And the last condition is P square does not divide A naught. But A naught is P. Clearly, P square cannot divide P. Okay. Therefore, for this polynomial, x power n minus P, we can take the required prime to be the prime P itself, the constant term itself. Then, we conclude that by Eisenstein criterion, x power n minus p is irreducible over q whatever n okay suppose you are given like very large power like uh, thousand one minus uh, some uh, larger prime okay so 
like uh, some six digit prime whatever it is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 some bigger six digit prime and yeah then uh, by using our Eisenstein criterion by taking this number as your prime you can conclude that uh, x power n minus p is irreducible okay okay very good so next we move to the second option again like in many csa problem this x power n minus p that kind of polynomials are given next we go to uh, next uh, it is a 19 degree polynomial degree 19 polynomial x power 19 plus 6 x power 10 minus 9 x power 4 plus 75 here we what uh, what prime we can take so if you noticed all these coefficients are divisible by 3 why 75 is divisible by 3 because if a number has some of the digits divisible by 3 then that number itself is divisible by 3 75 sum of the digits is 12 3 divides 12 therefore 3 divides 75 also okay uh, yeah. 25 times 3 is 75 now so we take p equal to 3 for a second problem then p divides uh, constant term p divides uh, coefficient of uh, all the coefficients up to coefficient of x power 18 okay and p does the leading coefficient is 1 therefore 3 doesn't divides 1 so second condition also satisfied now p square is 9 9 doesn't divide the constant term 75 therefore third condition also satisfied so by considering p equal to 3 and using eisenstein criterion we conclude that the polynomial x power 19 plus 6 x power 10 minus 9 x power 4 minus plus sorry plus 75 is irreducible over q okay now the polynomials given in 3 and 4 can be solved similar to 1 and 2 you just need to choose the suitable prime and uh, you can uh, solve you can prove that uh, these two polynomials are irreducible okay let's move to the more interesting polynomial which is uh, 2x power 5 minus 4x square minus 3 okay if you try to use Eisenstein for uh, this polynomial 2x power 5 minus 4x square minus 3 then you may not find any prime satisfying all these conditions okay but uh, there is a small trick that you can use to prove that uh, actually you can use Eisenstein so what is the trick is I mean this is a very general idea so sometime for f of x you may not able to use Eisenstein criterion that time what you do is you replace x by x plus 1 okay uh, and it's so you will get basically a new polynomial so for example for example suppose x square plus 1 is my polynomial uh, um, maybe like maybe it is a bad example so for example like again we consider uh, this polynomial 2x power 5 minus 4x square minus 3 so now for this polynomial I can't use Eisenstein okay whatever prime uh, comes in your mind you uh, apply it uh, you will see that uh, that prime won't satisfy at least one of these uh, three three conditions given here okay but what you can do is so wherever x is there you replace x by x plus 1 basically you will get uh, 2 times x plus 1 whole power 5 minus 4 x plus 1 whole square minus 3 and you simplify Mo most likely the resulting polynomial may be uh, in the resulting polynomial you may be it is it might be possible to use Eisenstein criterion then uh, but uh, this uh, f of x going to f of x plus 1 is actually a ring automorphism okay therefore ring automorphism preserves irreducible elements okay therefore if f of x plus 1 is irreducible then f of x itself has to be irreducible therefore we can conclude that uh, uh, the given polynomial itself is irreducible but uh, there is no guarantee that x goes to x if you replace x by x plus 1 the resulting polynomial is uh, uh, you can use Eisenstein criterion resulting polynomial that is no guarantee but uh, that is one way of doing it so you can try x goes to x minus 1 also there is one more uh, idea you can replace x by 1 by x also then 2 x power 5 minus 4 x square minus 3 will be changed to minus 3 x power 5 minus 4 x cube plus 2 why is it so and for uh, this polynomial minus 3 x power 5 minus 4 x cube plus 2 we can apply Eisenstein with uh, p equal to 2. In, uh, let's see mod p irreducibility test. 
Uh, so again you have a polynomial with integer coefficient and the degree of f of x is greater than or equal to 1 it should be a non-constant polynomial <coughs> you take a prime p okay let f p of x be the polynomial in z p of x obtained by f of x by reducing all the coefficients of f of x modulo p okay so f of x is a polynomial with integer coefficients we have a prime and what can you do you can reduce all the coefficients mod p and so if the if the re resultant polynomial f p of x is irreducible over z p and degree of f of x equal to degree of f p of x like when you reduce modulo p the leading coefficient should not be divisible by p okay in particular the degree of f of x and if uh, f of the given polynomial f of x has degree 10 after reducing also the polynomial f p of x should remain degree 10 then f of x is irreducible over q okay there are two things first you are given a polynomial you are reducing it to model of p after you reducing there are two things the polynomial's degree should remain the same and if the new polynomial is irreducible over z p then the original polynomial is irreducible over q okay so let's see why Let's, I mean, the proof of the mod p reduce irreducibility test again can be seen in uh, topics in algebra I and Hesting. Please have a look at the proof. Let's uh, see, solve some uh, options from CSIR problem uh, which can be uh, solved using this test. So, you consider this polynomial x cube plus 7x plus 3 and we claim that it is irreducible over q. You take p equal to 2. What will you get? So, the leading coefficient is 1. If you reduce, reduce 1 model of 2 you will get again 1 only 7 if you reduce modulo 2 what will you get you will get 1 plus if you reduce the uh, constant term 3 modulo 2 you will get 1 now the degree of uh, this polynomial is 3 this is our uh, f of x this is our f of x this is our f p of x both have the same degree therefore first condition is satisfied now we claim that this polynomial is irreducible over z2 okay okay now this is a degree 3 polynomial if the polynomial is either degree 3 or 2 then it is irreducible if and only if it has no roots in the field wherever we are considering now we are considering over z2 z2 contain only two elements uh, 0 and 1 and none of 0 and 1 is a root of this polynomial therefore this polynomial is irreducible over z2 therefore by mod p irreducibility test this polynomial x cube plus 7x plus 3 is irreducible over q okay next second problem is a little bit more trickier let's do okay so it is a degree 4 polynomial so it is not enough to check whether it has a root or not if it is degree 2 or 3 it is enough to check whether it has a root now to do the second problem so it is a degree 4 polynomial so it's a fa possible factorization can be uh, two degree 2 polynomials or uh, or one degree 1 polynomial and degree 3 polynomial these are the two options okay now uh, what is the p i am going to look i am going to take uh, p equal to 2 okay so uh, either p equal to 2 or first we check whether p equal to 2 works if it doesn't work we go to p equal to 3 so if you reduce modulo 2 what will you get we get uh, x power 4 minus uh, x minus x and plus x are the same because in z2 plus 1 and minus 1 are same oh, you can take it to be plus x also uh, and plus 4 is uh, uh, what is plus 4 in z2 that is 0 okay <coughs> now this is equal to x into x cube plus 1 okay so this x power 4 plus x is irreducible over z2 therefore we cannot apply this test okay if f p of x is irreducible over z p then f of x is irreducible over q but if f of x is reducible over z p then we cannot conclude that f of x is reducible over q okay that is a very important thing that's why i did 
so if you take p equal to 2 then we get the if you reduce this polynomial over z2 the resulting polynomial is reducible over z2 but if it is reducible then we cannot apply this uh, mod p irreducibility test so we take p equal to 3 okay so we take p equal to 3 to conclude this polynomial is irreducible over q and if you reduce this polynomial mod 3 5 is uh, mod 5 mod 3 is 2 okay so we get a 2x power 4 minus x 4 is 1 in uh, z3 so we get this polynomial so we claim that 2x power 4 minus x plus 1 is irreducible over z3 okay now suppose it is reducible we get a contradiction so if it is suppose reducible it can be written as product of 2 degree 2 polynomial or 2 degree 1 polynomial okay so first we assume that it is product of 2 degree 2 polynomial so a x square plus b x plus c a 1 x square plus b 1 x x b 1 x plus the constant term c 1 okay so product of 2 uh, degree 2 polynomials then what you can do is you compare the coefficient so 2 x power 4 minus x plus 1 is equal to a x square plus b x plus c into a 1 x square plus b 1 x plus c 1 what is the leading coefficient? So, leading coefficient will be a a1 equal to 2. Then you calculate the coefficient of x and calculate the calculate the constant term and you equate with the corresponding coefficients here. Then you can conclude that uh, such a a b c a1 b1 c1 cannot exist. It is very simple. So, please it is simple arithmetic only so please check similarly suppose uh, it is a degree 1 and a degree 3 type of factorization then you take it as ax plus b into a1 x cube plus b1 x plus c1 x plus d1 again you compare the coefficients of uh, this polynomial compare the coefficient of this polynomial with the product of this polynomial so basically coefficient of x power 4 x and the constant term coefficient of x cube here coefficient of x cube is 0 here you will get a nice coefficient of x cube so you will get certain condition on the coefficient and you can conclude that clearly there won't be any such coefficient satisfying the gear conditions you are getting okay so from that you can conclude that this polynomial is irreducible over z3 because such this kind of factorization doesn't exist therefore by mod p irreducible test this polynomial is irreducible over q okay Okay, guys, so I hope you uh, understand uh, 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 this uh, licensing criterion and mod p irreducibility test. And these are the, these whatever the polynomials I did, they are all uh, problems given in the CSIR problems. So, try to solve it by yourself to understand everything. Okay, yeah, I hope you understand. So, if you like this video, please uh, like this video. And uh, if you are uh, new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, if you have any doubts please uh, put it in the comments i am very happy to answer your uh, your doubts okay okay guys take care